Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Everybody, welcome to Lee Wine TV. I'm your host, Mark Fusco, here for another episode of the show. And uh, this time I've got the Feeding Frenzy wine here. Now, this is a wine that, again, I bought at World Market, and I kind of bought it because of the label and the price, and thought this might be hopefully a good, like, just everyday type of wine. You put it with, you know, different types of food. So um, this is the 2010 Feeding Frenzy California Cabernet Sauvignon, uh, which means that grapes can come from anywhere in California. Now, um, in doing the research, I oh, bought it for $4.99, regularly $5.99 at World Market. Um, now, the one thing I was kind of bummed about this is I, I have a feeling this might be a one-off type of wine, or they only made it for a couple vintages, because on the back label, it says, come to find us online at Chateau Diana. So I go to ChateauDiana.com, which I'll put a link down below, and um, nothing about it. I mean, I can look up on Google, and I find uh, adeja.com and for feeding, feeding Frenzy Sellers, and um, it's just a listing, and it doesn't really have much. You know, it's just like a listing of wines, and um, then Seller Tracker and all that kind of stuff, but nothing, you know... Nothing from the actual company. So I have a feeling that maybe it didn't sell as well as they were hoping or what. But, so uh, for the viewers at home, get that. Well, maybe I can do that. There we go. All right, so um, the back label will say, The Feeding Friends of Cabernet Sauvignon is perfect complement for the foodie and all of us. This wine possesses aromas of dried cherry and fresh ground nutmeg. Huh? Okay, we haven't gotten that far yet. Um, flavors are indicative of dark currants, black fruits and blueberries, and subtle round body, long finish, blah, blah, blah. Multiple layers of dried herbs and cranberries carry throughout with a seductive, blah, 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 seductive hint of dark, dark chocolate. Man, you thought wine bloggers pulled stuff out of their butts. <laughs> a a well-balanced wine to serve with food. Might we suggest pairings such as gourmet pizza with pesto? Eggplant lasagna, baby back, barbecue baby back ribs, or grilled tri-tip. The pizza with pesto, I'm not really sure about that one. But let's check it out. The feeding frenzy. I get kind of smoke. Maybe some red fruit. No nutmeg, to, to not even close. The dried cherry, well, maybe, you know, I was going with red fruit, maybe a dark cherry, dark red cherry, but um, kind of smoky. It's kind of purpley, very purpley. All right, let's check it out. So as I was going through all that, and I had forgotten to start the timer on the phone, I was thinking about the description of what I should be tasting. And I thought about blueberries. And I'm like, you know what? I taste blueberries. I do. Which, you know, a lot of times I look at these, these descriptions, and, and they um, talk about blueberry, and I never really taste a blueberry or blue fruit. I'm like, well, what kind of, other than blueberry, what other blue fruit is there? So, um, but I do get that. 
Now, in fact, I get blueberries quite a bit. Uh, I can't tell you about the other stuff. And the cranberry. I, I, can, I, I, I can see the cranberry, but that's because I was looking for what else. But really, blueberry. Yeah. I'd almost even say kind of like those blueberry, like, Nutri-Grain bar type of thing, so I get a little bit of that, that type of flavor to it. Or more like, more like a blueberry Pop-Tart. Yeah. It's got medium tan, well, actually kind of light tannins, medium minus tannins. Um, a decent amount of acidity, uh, really smooth. Um, it's not not very heavy wine. It's I would say it's very food a food friendly wine. Um, you could drink it on its own, but I really do think it's a wine that will do better if you if you paired it with something. Now the suggestions that they have with pizza with pesto, maybe, maybe a little bit. I'm not sure. Barbecue ribs probably. Um, just really kind of any, you know, kind of just a general wine you could pair with most foods. Um, eggplant lasagna. I don't know, maybe just lasagna. I'm not an eggplant fan, so, um, I mean, I've had it. Um, it's not bad, but I've had an eggplant, I've had an eggplant parmesan before. But, um, I can see putting with pizza, I can see putting with most Italian foods. Um, I can see putting it with, um, some steaks. Um, I can see even doing like with a pork chop, you know, a little pork chop action, uh, ham, that type of stuff. So um, I'm not a I'm not a fish person, but it's it's pretty light for especially for Cabernet. So I mean, I wouldn't go so far as saying it's like a a heavy Pinot Noir, but it it makes me think about Pinot Noir type of pairings. So I mean, you could do turkey with it. Um, you could you could do make it a Thanksgiving wine easily. Especially you have the cranberry sauce. Yeah. All right. So that's going to do it for this one, I think. But, um, oh, yeah, score-wise. Um, 87. I do like the wine. Again, it's a little light for what I'm looking for. But one of the nice things about it, it is a California cab, and it's not heavily oaked. I don't get. I don't feel like I, I'm biting into wood. I don't feel like I'm getting all that vanilla flavor um, and the Christmas spice. I know they talk about nutmeg. But I really don't feel like it's this bombastic Cabernet Sauve. So I like that part of it, but it is a little bit lighter than I think I would like. I think a little bit heavier, a little bit heavier body, but um, I think it's still a pretty well-made wine, 87. Uh, solid, solid score, and uh, definitely get it for five bucks, six bucks. It's definitely a good value for, uh, for a wine. I mean, I, all these wines I want to drink, like so far all the wines we've had tonight, I just want to drink like all of them tonight. You know, after I'm done with all this. Matter of fact, I may just like, drink a little bit of this. Now I'm getting a little bit of wood. But it's not bad. Not bad at all. It's okay. All right, that's going to do it. Um, as always, thanks for stopping by. Come by the website. Comment down below. Hit the link for the uh, for the website. Well, I'll put, a, I'll put a link for the website of the actual company that produced it, but I couldn't find the wine for it, but I'll, I'll give them a little bit of, a little bit of love. Turn me up above, find me up, find me online above, hit the donate button, and uh, we'll see everyone again next time.